Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to another video. It's Richard from Bike Packing Adventures, and hopefully you can hear the sound okay on this video because I'm outdoors. It's rather windy. Anyway, let's jump straight into the video. It's my reveal of my Grand Guanche 2024 bike, and this is it. It's a Nuke Proof Digger Factory in Burgundy, and this is my setup today. We're we'll taking a look in this video what's on the outside and in another video I'll go exactly what's into the bags that I'll be carrying for the Grand Guananchi which is next week. Today for the time of filming is Saturday, flight over to Spain and the Canary Islands on Thursday with the race starting 10pm uh, Saturday evening. So we're going to go talk straight about gearing. So it's a GRX 810 series, uh, 42 tooth on the rear, 40 on the front. In all honesty, there's probably not enough gears on this bike, but I'm not there to be racing it, I'm there to have a good time. So I don't mind if there's a bit of bit of walking, a hike, a bike. The route itself is 60% on the road and less than 40% off road. So it's going to be, uh, you know, not quite a 50-50 split, but should be plenty enjoyable and should be a lot faster rolling and mud free than compared to uh, here in the UK. It's 11 speed uh, drive chain, brand new chain on there, brand new pair of jockey wheels put on this weekend. Uh, this weekend. Tire choice, these are Schwabi Ultra Bite. Uh, Ultrabike G1s sat on a DT Swiss uh, wheel set should be nice and fast we'll come on to the cockpit area shall we so um, right underneath all this stuff we've got some legacy uh, aero bars from profile designs on there we've got a, uh, a mounting system from tough tough love with a Garmin 530 sat on there and underneath we've got an Exposure Toro, Toro Mark 13 hold on with this uh, ingenious um, purchase for well Exposure Light and then like an Amazon solution in there as well a bit of a bracket going on and up front to put my mobile phone if I need some directions or something I'll put, the, put it on on there and you might be thinking, if I put my phone on there, it's going to obscure your Garmin. Yes, it is, but haha, -ha, put it on horizontally, it's perfectly fine. And hiding up underneath here, we've got a strap as well. What's a spare strap for? Um, if I need an extra bottle of water, if I buy some from the shop, I can sit it quite comfortably in there and strap it on using the spare uh, strap that I'm carrying with me. So talking of water, two water bottles in the middle of the frame should suffice. And this one here is just a, like a tool, a uh, tool bottle case thingy majig. Oh, whilst I'm down here as well, I've, uh, on Monday I've got coming a, another piece of equipment, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, for the top of my head, the piggy piggyback I think, from 76 Projects, I believe it was. And it's gonna bring the bottle uh, cage a little bit forward and gives you a bit of space behind it with a, a zip case over bits and bobs. Above there we've got a pump. You know, I've had that for about four or five years. It's always been very more than more than capable for putting a lot of air into your tyres. I've got a long history in doing all acts and long distance things so I need a dependable pump. Right next to that is a support cell from Exposure Lights. Basically it's a proprietary uh, power bank. You see it's lead running up here and just wrapped around the stem at the moment but once uh, you know when I turn that on it'll, it'll connect into there and basically double my battery life right next to that we've got a uh, spare, spare uh, light really powerful on this one it's from Olight the RN 1500 and that will support the power coming out of the exposure light as well top tube we've got a tail fin bag and believe it or not I've already packed everything I need in there so like I say, it's going to be tell you a bit more what's going on in the bags in a different video, but 
bit of a glimpse there. It's gonna be carb mix and energy gels. At the moment, I've got a Tupolito tire underneath there. So that'll either sit there or it will go into the uh, piggyback thing. It's quite snuggled under there anyway. Um, it's not getting in the way of the tail fin. Aero pack. This is the, uh, the carbon rack model. And as you can see, it's very sparsely packed with bits and bobs for the Grand Granache. I've not put an awful lot in this, kept it quite lightweight. Um, down here also, we've got a pair of Katai Omni 5 lights. These are battery operated, so um, the last bulbs basically. I always recommend going uh, battery powered rear lights if at all possible. So that completes my setup for the Grand Guananchi. Finger cross, it's all, it's all going to grow well. If you're racing, tell me what your bike setup is down in the comments below and get involved. Oh, I've just thought of something as well. I've got a charge saddle. Very dependable, love it. Right, so I'm going to leave the video here. Comments, questions, head down below. And at some point on social media, I'll put a tracking link to follow me during the race. See you later. Bye-bye.